Hello friends, welcome to my channel Learning Electronics. I want to inform you that we have started a new channel for lectures in Hindi language. So if you want to see the videos in the Hindi language, then you can visit that channel and subscribe that channel for lectures in Hindi language and the lectures in the English language will be uploaded in this channel of Learning Electronics and the new channel name is Learning Electronics in Hindi whose link will be provided in the description box below. So using that link you can go to that channel and subscribe that channel also. Please do subscribe this channel also and also press the bell icon so that you can get more updated videos from here. This is the lecture series of effect of feedback in control system. Effect of feedback in control system is divided into five parts. First one is effect of feedback on time constant of control system. Second one is effect of feedback on overall gain or closed loop gain of control system. Third one is effect of feedback on stability of control system. Fourth one is effect of feedback on sensitivity of control system. And last and fifth is effect of feedback on disturbance in control system. In this lecture, we are going to discuss effect of feedback on disturbance of control system. Now first of all we should know what is disturbances in control system. Disturbances in control system are also called as noise signals. Disturbances are the unwanted signals that affect the output of control system and result in increase in the system error. Therefore to eliminate the effect of disturbance in control system and to reduce the system error the control system should be properly designed. Every control system has has some non-linearities present in it. The dominant non-linearities in the control system like friction, dead zone, saturation affect the output of the system adversely and some external disturbances like high frequency noise in electronic applications, thermal noise in amplifier tubes and wind gusts on antenna radar systems also make the system output inaccurate. So these disturbances in the control system may be in the forward path of the control system, may be in the feedback path of the control system and may be at the output of the control system. Therefore, we will study first the effect of feedback on disturbance in forward path. Then we will study the effect of feedback on disturbance in feedback path. And lastly, we will study the effect of feedback on disturbance at output of the control system. First, we will study the effect of feedback on disturbance in forward path of the control system. This is the block diagram representation of a control system. And let there is a disturbance in the forward path of this control system, which is represented by TDS. So to find out the effect of this disturbance TDS on the output of this control system we have to first assume the input response RS is equal to 0. So when we assume RS is equal to 0 here this summing point will be eliminated from here and this negative sign will be added with this gain of HS. Now after removing this input response RS from this block diagram. The block diagram will look like this. Now we can see that this G1 as gain is in series with this minus of HS gain and we know that when two gains are in series with each other the resultant gain will be the multiplication of both the gains. So when we multiply both these gains we will get minus of G1 S into H of S. Now the block diagram will look like this. Now the input response to this system is the disturbance signal TDS. So if we look at this control system, this is a positive feedback control system. We know that for positive feedback control system, the overall transfer function T is equal to forward path gain G divided by 1 minus forward path gain G into feedback path transfer function H. So for this system, the overall transfer function will be equal to output response CS divided by input disturbance signal TDS which is equal to here forward part transfer function is G2S. So we will write simply here G2 divided by 1 minus forward part transfer function G2 into feedback part transfer function minus G1 into H. And now this minus minus become plus and this will be equal to G2 divided by 1 plus 
G1 G2 into H. Now since this G1 G2 H is very much greater than 1, we will neglect this 1 as compared to this G1 G2 and H. Then this equation of overall transfer function Cs by Tds will be equal to G2 divided by G1 G2 into H. Now this G2 will be cancelled out with this G2 and we will get Cs by Tds is equal to 1 upon g1 into h. If we write this gains as a function of s, this will be equal to g1 s into h of s. So, for such type of system, when the disturbance signal is coming in the forward path of the control system, the overall transfer function considering only the disturbance signal as input is equal to 1 upon g1 s into h of s. So, from this equation, the output response cs will be equal to Tds divided by G1 as into H of S. So from this equation, we can conclude that to make the effect of disturbance Tds on the output as small as possible, the gain G1 as should be selected as large as possible. Next, we are going to study effect of feedback on disturbance in feedback path. This is the block diagram representation of a control system. In this, let us assume that due to non-linear behavior of the feedback path elements, a disturbance TDS is produced in the feedback path of this control system. So, to find out the effect of this disturbance signal TDS on the output response CS of this control system, we have to first assume the input response RS is equal to 0. So when we assume the input response RS is equal to 0 in this block diagram, then this summing point will be eliminated from here and this negative sign will be added with this gain H2 S. So after putting the input response RS is equal to 0 and eliminating this summing point, this block diagram will look like this. Here we can see that this gain of G2S, G1S and minus of H2S are in series with each other. Therefore, the resultant gain will be the multiplication of these three gains. So, after multiplying these three gains, the block diagram will look like this. Now, we got the resultant gain is equal to minus of G1S into G2S into H2S. Now, we can shift this summing point at which we are applying the disturbance signal to this point. When we shift this summing point here, block diagram will look like this. Now, the input signal to the system is the disturbance signal DDS and output is CS. So, we can see that this is a positive feedback control system. So, for positive feedback control system, we know that overall transfer function T is equal to forward path gain G divided by 1 minus forward path gain G into feedback path gain H. So, for this system, the overall transfer function will be equal to output response CS divided by input signal TDS which is equal to here forward path gain is minus of G1, G2 into H h2 whole divided by 1 minus forward path gain is minus of g1 g2 h2 into feedback path gain is h1 now this minus minus becomes plus and we will get minus of g1 g2 h2 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h2 into h1 now since this G1, G2, H1, H2 is very much greater than 1, we will neglect this 1 as compared to this G1, G2, H2 into H1. Then we will get output response divided by input disturbance signal is equal to minus of G1, G2 into H2 divided by G1, G2, H1 into H2. Now this G1 and G1 get cancelled out, this G2, G2 get cancelled out and this H2 and H2 get cancelled out and we will get the overall transfer function of the system Cs by Tds is equal to minus of 1 upon H1 which is equal to minus of 1 upon H1s. So, for such type of system, when the disturbance signal is affecting the feedback path of the control system, the output signal considering only the input disturbance signal is equal to minus of Tds divided by the gain H1s. 
so from this equation we can conclude that by making the gain h1 as sufficiently large the effect of noise and disturbance coming in the feedback path can be effectively reduced in the control system next we will study the effect of feedback on disturbance at output of the control system this is the block diagram representation of a control system now let us consider that a disturbance signal tds is affecting the output of this system directly as shown in the figure so to study the effect of this disturbance signal tds on the output of this control system first we have to assume the input response rs is equal to 0 so when we assume input response rs is equal to 0 this summing point will be eliminated and this negative sign will be added with this gain hs so after eliminating this input response rs the block diagram will look like this now we can see that this gain of gs is in series with this gain of minus of hs so we can multiply these gains to find out the resultant gain now after multiplying these gains the block diagram will look like this now we got the resultant gain is equal to minus of gs into hs here we can see that this is a positive feedback control system and the input to this system is disturbance signal tds we know that the single line in the forward path represent a gain of one so here we represent a gain block of one then we can find out the overall transfer function or gain of this system since this this is a positive feedback control system we know that for positive feedback control system the overall transfer function t is equal to forward path gain g divided by 1 minus forward path gain g into feedback path gain h now for this system the overall transfer function will be equal to output response c s divided by input disturbance signal tds which is equal to here forward path gain is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus forward path gain that means 1 multiplied with this feedback path gain minus of gs into h of s now this minus minus becomes plus and we will get 1 divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s now since uh, this g of s into h of s is very much greater than 1 we can neglect this 1 as compared to g of s into h of s so from this equation we will get 1 upon g of s into h of s so the overall transfer function of this system cs upon tds is equal to 1 upon g of s into h of s we got so from this equation if we find out the output response it will be equal to tds that is disturbance signal divided by g of s into h of s so from this equation we can conclude that if we want to decrease the effect of this disturbance signal at the output of this control system then we have to make the product of gs into hs as large as possible or we can increase the gain gs keeping hs constant or we can increase the gain hs by keeping gs constant so the conclusion point of this lecture is the feedback minimizes the effect of disturbances in the control system so hope you have understood the topic thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe my channel for more updates